Hello, and Randy here playing Farming Simulator 22 on Elk Mountain, Wyoming, where I'm still working on digging out dirt here yet for the gold wash plant. We're moving, uh, moving quite a bit of dirt here in case you can't uh, tell. We've got some rather large uh, piles going on. Uh, probably going to have to do some moving of some belts here this episode to obviously get the, most of these piles picked up. But for now, uh, the trucks are still filling yet. I'm still uh, digging out dirt and making up piles here. And uh, we'll have to go look at the uh, productions here in just a few moments, everyone. But yes, we finally have some gold bars. I, I think they're gold bars, right? Something like that. Whatever, everyone. So we're finally to the last stage of the production here on the gold. And we actually have some. Um, I don't know if we have a whole lot yet, but we do have some. And then also, I mean, obviously, uh, last episode, if you've seen last episode, we purchased a uh, third truck. The, uh, the third truck really seems to be helping with keeping the gold wash plant going here. Uh, if we go actually go check it here, it is, yeah, it's it's staying, it's not full, but it's at least, uh, it's staying up there for a chain. In case you can't tell, I'm still getting over that, uh, that head cold head from, uh, oh, what is that going on? Three, four weeks ago yet, I'm mean, still, uh, still stuffed up from that yet. Okay, one well, of those head colds are just not, not want to go away. That and the, uh, the changing weather probably is not helping here either. Uh, for those of you who uh, have seen the, the weather, at least up in the, let's see what's here, northeast, I guess? Michigan area. For those of you who have seen the weather in the Michigan area, but yeah, it's, uh, the weather's been quite uh, something here the last uh, couple of weeks. Uh, we hit fall here a few weeks ago, and uh, I do mean when we hit fall, I've been literally, the date of fall, what is it, September 22? I think it's September 22 is uh, fall, right, or 21, something like that. Whatever the date was, I've been... Uh, literally, the, the switch flipped, and it was fall outside, quite literally. So, And then last uh, last week or so, uh, it's gotten cold, rainy, and the leaves are just uh, coming out from the trees like crazy. So, ah, great weather, great weather. Not. Nah. Yeah, looks like I've done, dug it down about as far as I can here on this side. Back up here a little bit. Got the other uh, bulldozer over here. Figure some of these piles, maybe you might have to like push over to the belts or move. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'm gonna figure it out. Whatever works the best here. We got ourselves a pretty good hole going, though. If you ask me, I went pretty good hole, if I do say so myself. Oh, wrong one. Wrong one. There we go. Definitely, again, I've been looking to uh, upgrade excavators here. Oh, looks like our pumps have stopped uh, filling up here better. Uh, let's see what we can do about that here. Manet, uh, really? Is that all you can pick up? I guess so. Hmm. Well, we can see if we can move this one here a minute. There we go. That one will uh, continue uh, picking up a little more yet. Surprisingly, not a very good range on these uh, belts, Evan. Uh, and I know I've mentioned that before, but it would be nice if the range was just a little bit better. I need to adjust the camera here because I need to be able to see both of those. How about there? Is that going to work? Or we'll just go and cap too. We've got uh, quite a bit of dirt dug out here, everyone. Just a matter of getting it pushed over to the belts and or belts moved to where the dirt is. Again, I'm not sure what would be the easiest here. Might give the bulldozer a try just to see once how that uh, works, if it'll even work. Let's see once. So we started this, what, the last episode, right? So since last episode, we've got all of this uh, dug out here. Now, folks, that's, uh, that's a fair amount of dirt move. Make ourselves a nice pond here if we wanted to, right? Oh, that didn't finish anything out, did it? 
I just noticed that. There we go. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Make sure that bucket's empty. Back up here, too, before we get uh, stuck in the hole. I want that to happen. And again, if we uh, check our... Oh, wrong button. Yep, still got dirt in there, everyone. Hopefully the other truck will get there. So yeah, three trucks seems to be working pretty good, have one. Of course, again, as soon as we get some money, have one, which uh, hopefully this episode, I'm hoping, have one. We can get some gold sold. We'll have to figure that out, actually. Where do we gotta take the gold to sell? I'm not exactly sure here yet. Uh, we could set it to sell straight from the factory as well. And we might do that here at some point, but at least I figure the first load of gold, we need to like take that in ourselves, right? At least that's what I'm thinking, have one. Trying to get that uh, dumped over as far as I can here for the pile. Really can't dump as far over as you really think you should be able to. Or the excavator just got to lift so high and... Make sure I don't uh, skim the top of that pile either. I mean, even with a bucket like that, uh, it will... That's not quite full. Let's get that a little fuller. There we go. It'll try to pick up the, the dirt as you skim over it. You know, again, the, the physics and gravity here seem to be a little questionable at times, right? Oh, and I should probably mention too, in case folks didn't realize. Yeah, it's raining in the game. I mean, it is a little raining. Beautiful weather, right? We're just digging up some slop of mud here. Fortunately, we don't have to worry about that, I guess. You know, if it's still... Yeah, even though it's raining, we're just digging out dirt. Back up a little more here. Okay, let's give this uh, bulldozer a try. See if I can push some of these piles close enough, because, again, looks like we're about at the limit there of all three of our belts. Again, any one of the three belts will pick this up, everyone. Speaking of picking it up. I don't know, actually, do I have to turn it on? I guess we'll find out. It might be able to sleep like this, because it is loose material. Yeah, just push that right there. Not exactly sure what happened to that uh, big pile of dirt that was on the blade, but... Whatever. Yeah, it seems to be uh, working somewhat. Maybe not the best, but it is working. What we need now are some actual trucks to unload here so we can uh, keep this uh, process moving, probably. how much uh, dirt this bulldozer can hold on its blade, but looks like it is a fair amount. Okay, there we go. We'll just uh, call that good for now. Like I said, we need to actually like have this belt pick some of this up before I think we continue any further. Oh, that does remind me. We do need to keep an eye on the trucks over here. I did have it. I, that was actually, was it like, yeah, last episode. I think, I think these folks seen it here last episode. This happened. Not entirely sure what's going on here. But yeah, that one doesn't quite clear. I should take a look at this course here, man. Where is the, uh, is this the crossover spot right here? Ah, yes, it is. Okay. So he's trying to cross over right there. And this one, unfortunately, is in the way. I don't know if there's, uh, let's see what's here. Oh, there's probably a way we could get around that, maybe. Or to maybe smooth one of these piles out over here and have them come back around that side, maybe? That might be a better option. Maybe we'll have to uh, adjust that here at some point. So when it comes to uh, pulling out of here, we can just pull out 
uh, do a circle around or something. <clears throat> Let's see, did we run out of dirt? As long as we're not running out of dirt, I mean, that's mostly what I'm concerned about. Nope, we're definitely not out of dirt yet, so perfect. As long as the, uh, the trucks are moving quick enough here, we don't have to worry about that. I'm happy with that. That's probably what I should do, too. I want to get the big front loader. That might actually work out pretty good here as well. Just have that scoop some of this up and dump it over. It does hold more than the excavator does again. There we go. That belt's moving the uh, dirt. And I just uh, pushed in a little closer here, hopefully. Progress. Oh, nope, yeah, okay. Try not to do that if possible. That is uh, that is less than ideal when that happens. Whoops. Because yeah, now we got the belt out of a line with that one. I'm no surprised that it's actually not even on. That's, uh, that's a wonder. Yeah, probably you couldn't even, whoa, that uh, definitely did not adjust. That did it, okay then. Really. It looks pretty close. That might actually work. Yep, I think that'll work yet. Okay, cool. Okay, like I said, we'll let that uh, continue running here for a few minutes. Hopefully there's enough uh, dirt there. While we're doing that, let's go check our gold production here. So again, if seen last episode, uh, we were up to the gold wash room. And we did have gold at the gold washroom here. Um, I'm not sure how often it uh, distributes the gold. Even if it's every hour or if it's more than that, I don't know. But at some point, when it does send the gold that is here over to the uh, gold smelter. I didn't notice that here uh, last step. So before I quit, it did eventually. And I'm, I'm not entirely sure when I won. But it does send it over here at some point. Same thing with the gold washroom. Uh, or the wash plant, I'm sorry. So the gold wash plant is sending its concentrate over to the gold wash room. Also, ooh, that reminds me of the tailings. Um, I do not remember how many tailings we had here last episode. I mean, has that gone up or down? We've got it set to selling. Uh, and here again, I'm not sure how quickly it's selling, but it is selling. Or at least it's supposed to be selling, right? Then we also got our gold smelter. And I don't know how to get the... Like the actual, actually, let's go back to this, the tailings out of it. I don't know if you have to change maybe the output mode. Maybe it will. Someone did say put a truck underneath the uh, conveyor belt and it's supposed to empty the tailings, but it doesn't seem to. And maybe that's just because I had the wrong mode. That is very well possible, I suppose. Then, of course, we're going to the gold washroom here with our concentrate, uh, which does take diesel, by the way. And that turns that into gold. Then from the gold, we're going to the gold smelter which is smelting into gold bars, and we currently have 3,460 gold bars, or gold pieces, I guess. And I don't know, so what does this actually sell for? If we were to check this here, one, actually, wrong one. We need to go to, let's see, what's where would we see that? Under this one, I guess? Should be under this, right? So gold bars are selling for 46,000... I'm assuming that's per 1,000 liters, or per 1,000 pieces, I guess, probably, right? Wow, gold is selling for 6,000, okay. I think I mentioned that here, was it last episode? We could just sell the gold, right? Well, yeah, we could just sell the gold, I mean, but 6,000 versus 46,000? Yeah, I think we're going to want to sell the gold bars, right? Speaking of which, what, what kind of price fluctuation are we looking at? Uh, from 9 all the way up to... 45, 46, huh? Okay. Not sure what's up with that wild swing there, but... Let's 
Seems to be a bit of a wild swing in a lot of these prices. I don't know. May, June, July apparently is not a good month or something. <laughs> okay, I don't know what's up with that one. That's, that seems a little weird. Yeah. Nope, I want to get in something. There we go. Oh, do we need to move some more dirt here? Looks like we need to move some more dirt. That, uh... Truck is still sitting there yet. And this is the uh, Cat D11 here, by the way. Bulldozer we're using at the moment. Oh, yeah. One. He's a big boy. go. Rather interesting. It doesn't appear we're actually getting any material off the blade when it ends out like that. I'm not entirely sure what or who knows what's up with that. Whatever. I think I can pick up from here yet if I remember correctly. Let's find out. Oh, we got another truck here this time. At least I'm pretty sure that's another truck. No, I guess it's still flowing. Yeah, hey, well, it's still flowing, right? We've got plenty of dirt uh, dug out here at this point, I think. Yeah, well, we just need to get it all the way here. It's not pushed into spots where we can actually, like, haul it away as well. Just over this one. Well, that uh, did not go well, did it? Whoops. Those are probably these belts. I mean, you gotta be careful. Okay, at least when you're using multiples, right? Yeah, there we go. I think we got it. Cool. the uh, belt again. Whoops. Okay, that's harder than it looks. I'm definitely harder than it looks. Uh, I wonder if there's maybe a better idea. Or we could try the other bulldozer too. I don't know if the other bulldozer might work better. Uh, we have both the D10 and the D11. D11, of course, being the bigger one. You'd think it would uh, do a little better, but I'm not sure that's necessarily the case here. And I guess, too, I wouldn't, too, we could just see if we can move the belts. I think this might be just a little more fun and a little more, you know, just give us a little more something to do, I guess. There we go. Now the, the bulldozer mechanic here seems like it could use just a little bit of work in the game here, that's for sure. Especially when it comes to uh, pushing up loose material here.
Okay, there we go. Let's uh, we'll call that good here for the moment again. Hopefully, that's enough to fill up another uh, truck or two. And let's go check our gold prices here, man. Actually, gold prices. Where are we actually taking this gold and selling the gold to? That is my next question. So there's gold. We need gold bars. Gold bars are selling. Does it help if we actually look at the pawn shop? Okay, where's the pawn shop at? And of course, having to watch, we go sell the pawn shop and then no longer take gold bars again. So seems to be this story with the sell points on here. I don't get what's up with that one, but uh, pawn shop. I'm going to presume it's in town somewhere. Okay, I presumed wrong, apparently. Where would they hide a pawn shop on the map? One would think town, but I don't see anything blinking. Okay, where is it on the map that I can see the highlight? I tagged it, right? I thought I tagged it. Didn't I tag it? Tag the place. There we go. I thought I tagged it. And now let's go uh, check town here a minute. There we go. Yeah, okay. I thought so. I, mean, I was going to say, wait, that's the local market. There it is, pawn shop. Okay. Which apparently is right by the, uh, the local market. No. I'm not entirely sure what we're going to need to haul the gold with. By the way, I don't know on that one. Is that just going to be pallets? Or... I guess what we need to do, I wonder if we're going to do that. We actually need to go back to our production and switch it so it has output. So let's output some gold here. So let's see. Change output mode. Yeah, we want to spawn it, right? There we go. Spawn gold. Now, but you folks, I like the idea of uh, spawning gold. I bet that doesn't work a little easier in real life, right? Imagine the trouble you get into. Lay down. See how far we can push this here. Another truck uh, coming in. I think we definitely got a couple more loads here yet. Okay, gold bars. Hey, good. Our gold bars have spawned. Let's go actually to our factory here then. Come on, back to the map. And see once what we got as far as gold goes. So that is that one. Gold washroom. Gold. Gold smelter. That's what we want to visit. We want to go to the gold smelter. Hey, there's that's our gold, I guess. Wow. I think that at least made me fill the boxes, but apparently not. Uh, so mast uh, 1,000. Thousand. I guess they're all thousand. So we got a thousand liters of gold bars in each box. So it is pallets. I wasn't sure how it was going to do that, but yeah, it is pallets. I guess that's supposed to be what the date and serial number on there. Or no, date and uh, the percentage. I guess I'm assuming the date. So 2015, 99.999%. Yeah, I got the right number nines in it, right? Something like six nines in it. So 99.9999% pure gold. Listen, I'm assuming that's what that uh, stands for. Yeah, I imagine you probably need that, that voice there when it comes to uh, picking up these. So speaking of picking those up, I'm going to have to figure out... Uh, you know what? Actually, we got a couple of flatbed trailers. We should be able to throw that on that and uh, get those hauled away. I think we'll uh, maybe hold off and do that here next episode. I'm thinking that one. So next episode, we'll look at uh, selling some gold. See how much money we can make off that one. And then uh, maybe for lucky, bigger excavator. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe another belt, too, so that it's easier to uh, haul with. That might be nice. The bulldozer obviously is working. I'm, I don't know that I would necessarily say it's a great idea or an easy one.
Okay, well, but on that note, I think with that, we're going to wrap this episode up here. You folks have any comments or questions, uh, be sure to uh, leave them down below. Hope again you folks enjoyed uh, the mining here. Again, as I said, probably rather enjoying this uh, series here so far. I uh, definitely think we'll have to maybe uh, revisit this in the future and do another map like this at some point. Not sure when or where, but yeah, definitely wouldn't mind uh, checking out another map like this at some point. I'm so with that, everyone, we're wrapping it up. Thanks for watching again. Uh, till next time, everyone.